Hey guys, um, on horizontal machining centers, you uh, if when you're machining side one, and you um, have to go 180 degrees over to side two, um, it's very helpful to know what the center of the table is in X. Um, if you know what the center of the table is, you can easily apply some basic math to get your bore to bore alignments dialed in exactly and uh, make excellent parts. So um, how I recently did that was <clears throat> um, I took this, <clears throat> excuse me, I took this axle and um, I took a dial test indicator and I picked up the bore and I recorded the machine position. So on your screen, if you push position, um, you'll find different selections, relative, machine, absolute. Um, let's see, is there any others in that one? Okay, relative, machine, absolute. Though I think those are the main three. Now absolute is going to be numbers off of a work offset. Relative is the X, Y, and Z, and uh, B axis, if, if you have B, that you can clear out and find um, some type of current position of where you're at. But anyways, I, I want right now I want to focus off the machine position. You have to go off of machine position to find the center of the table. So make sure that it says machine at at the top of the screen or wherever it says that information on your screen. So then um, you record that, that information, rotate the table 180 degrees, and pick up the same bore and record that machine position. So one thing that's really important is that you have a very good bore that you're picking up that was, uh, you know, preferably cut with um, something qu quite precise, a, a finished bore, or um, it, if you don't have anything like that, um, I guess you'd have to use a ring gauge or um, something along that line that, that you um, some somehow temporarily attach to your table with uh, maybe some uh, weld magnets or something like that, and you, you have to tram it in. But ideally, it's it's a bore that you just machined. That would be that would be the most perfect thing. And then basically, you you take a a black marker, and then you put a you know if you if you have this bore here. Put a right right in the center of the bore. You put a black marker, and then you pick that up, crossing the dial test indicator where that black marker is. And then when you rotate it across to the other side, you have that indicator sweeping across that, um, just to really make sure you're picking it up in the same spot. Now, now you once you get those two X's, you add them up and divide by two. So in this example. I picked it up on side one and it was X minus 2045.651. Then I picked it up on side two and it equaled 1952.668. So I, what, what I'm saying is I rotated it 180 degrees and then I took the two numbers, added them up, divided by two, and I came up with this number. 1999.1595. So if this number is used in any kind of calculations on any of your other programs and it's off, make sure that you change this center of the table number in your other programs because this is this is calculated to find bore to bore position or whatever it is that the programmer set up. And so if this is off, for whatever reason, 
um, you're you're not machining parts with the bores aligned. So there's chances are good there's going to come a day when that ugly little problem will sneak up on you and uh, uh, you're going to be doing some rework. So um, I like uh, in. Here's a good example on how to apply this uh, center of the table. So if we if we machine this drum here, okay, on, on side one, you do the, uh, you machine the bore out, okay, and you have this recorded position of where this is machined at, 1998.631 and you want to know you want to know this site over here where is that located so if you subtract the center of the table from um, where you machine this here well you you can easily find out where where it's going to be on the other side so so here's uh if the table is all the way at the home position in zero it goes all the way to 4000 over here the center of the table on b270 in this example is you know the center of the table is going to be 1999.1595 it was machined here okay so with a, a difference of 0.5285 in this example that that it the bore was machined off center. So now if you rotate the part 180 degrees now now you've got the same uh, center of the table is obviously still 199. 1595 how do you know where the center of the of the of it is well it's you just apply that 0.5285 from uh the 1 from the center of the table 1995 and then you see you see when you rotate it around that you have to add more x cuz over here, over here it was, um, the number was coming in a little bit light in X. But when you rotate it around, now you have to add onto that side. So now the number goes to 1999.688. So this this is also helpful on... Um, checking it uh, if you have uh, so here's uh, P1 and P2 work offsets for the X this is uh, set up at 1998.631 and as you see here this is 1999.828 but if you apply the center of the table so from 1998.631, this does not equal 1999.828. So a correction needs to be made in this work offsets. So which is going to equal 1999.688, not 1999.828. So um I guess that that's what covers that at the center of the table. Um, you can apply that to um, any kind of machining you're doing where you, uh, a lot of times this bore to bore alignment, it's gotta be right on. The big, a big uh, huge pin needs to go across or whatever. Or um, it, a lot of times these need to be quite precise, but you don't have the tooling long enough to go through or whatever the situation is, it's got to, these bores have got to be tied together. Or you just simply want to find the, 
where the X starts on side two, and you want to correlate that to um, what you machined on side one. So you can just apply the, the center of the table um, in that X to find X on side two. So I hope this was helpful. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.